Oh, hey, everybody. How you doing? Uh, all work, no play makes uh, Paul a dull boy. So what we're going to do is we are going to do a little fun thing here today. And um, I think it's fun. Uh, you may not think it's fun. I think it's fun because we get to play psychiatrist with what we're doing right now. And um, we will check out and see what's, uh, you know, uh, what this is, okay? So let, let, let's take a look at this. Now, I did a video, okay? And it's that one with the bird. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about it because I think that this is worthy of psychology. Now, a lot of people don't know this. Pound for pound, pound for pound, Birds, particularly crows, and including, you know, like, and, and this isn't a secret, the Counting Crows, that musical group from the 90s and 2000s, the Counting Crows obviously knew about the, um, all the experimentation and all, you know, all of the, um, the, uh, the monitoring and learning that they've done studying uh, crows and other birds, like ravens and things like that. For their weight, they are extremely smart. In other words, their brain mass is pretty substantial for their body weight. And um, other creatures are not many, many of them. So um, you've got the ability for a lot of birds to do some rudimentary problem solving and um, other things, but particularly problem solving. And uh, many are also very social. Many birds, like um, parrots, for example, are very social. Uh, you know, they can get along in large groups and so forth. And uh, they work together to make it work uh, with these big communal nests and so forth. It shows higher intelligence. Um, okay, so I put here on this video that there's a lesson here somewhere. So let's take a look at this. And I want to show you, okay? Now, here's a bird, and it's, um, you can see what it's doing here. There's a dog also, so there must be a cat and a dog as a family. He takes this, okay? And if you look at this now, um, the bird has come over. He's feeling his oats, he or she. It sounds like a male to me, but who knows? And the bird is feeling its oats. And it wants to come over and try the dog, the cat food uh, for whatever the reason. And that's what we're going to talk about now. It doesn't necessarily mean that this bird is hungry. Um, in fact, this bird may not be hungry at all. This bird may just be coming over um, for some other purpose, like to make things right or to demonstrate that he or she, the bird I'm talking about, <clears throat> is kind of in charge of this little grouping of animals. That's what I think this is. Because I don't think the bird is terribly hungry. I think that this is a power struggle between the cat and the uh, bird. And I'm going to tell you why I think that. You'll also see that there is a dog uh, in the background here. Uh, and he now becomes involved. Now, the cat seems to be content to let this bird pull the food away from him and uh, eat a couple morsels. And then you see the dog in the background. The dog switches position. The, the crow there is very aware of it. And now he does a very peculiar thing. He starts feeding the dog. And I want to make that clear. That... that Parrot, that um, crow or a raven, whatever this is, blackbird, it starts feeding the dog. So I've come up with a theory about this, okay? My theory is that this bird has a nurturing personality and a kind of communist uh, manifesto uh, to its existence. And I think that the, the bird knows that the cat uh, doesn't really have any uh, skin in the game uh, for being nice. In other words, the cat's just the cat. It doesn't. The cats don't really think all that much. 
their brains are pretty much um, conducive to uh, getting things at the at, at moment at the moment, and then they kind of deal with things um, later. And that's how their brains work. Uh, that's all I'm told. And I think what this is is there appears to be a a mothering of this dog by the way that it feeds the dog and the dog is not really hungry it kind of plays along with the crow you know like it smells it and it the bird is trying to feed that's how birds feed their young they you know put it in their mouth from their beak they transfer the food and i think this is symbolic right here of what that bird is doing that it's trying to look after the dog why because the cat is kind of a shithead and that's how cats are like this now the owners may like them uh, and i don't know maybe this cat has scratched its owners i think that this crow has observed the behavior patterns of the cat and it knows that the cat is not a super nice cat. It's not a loving, gentle cat. It is something of a roguish kind of cat. So this bird, I think, is here as an intermediary to try to uh, take care of that dog who, probably through past observation, uh, both you know long-term and recent, has uh, come to the conclusion that that dog is, uh, like, to be nurtured and helped. I think it's amazing, really, in this. And um, as you will see, he does give a little bit of the dog food to the dog. The dog is very receptive to this, if for nothing else, than to be friendly and, um, and, and um, uh, um, appreciative of this, of this bird, the dog, that is. And um, the bird, I think it's on its way back over to get another round of this food in order to give it to the dog because they're friends for this reason that I told you. And what um, the cat does is it busts, busts up the uh, bird's groove and the bird is not happy about it, voices it, and um, displays behavior which is consistent with uh, uh, with um, uh, being a spoiled sport, kind of, you know, sour grapes. Um, the cat has decided to move in and have some, and the bird doesn't want any part of it, and it tries to um, make a big uh, ruckus with its mouth, and with the screaming aspect. That did not work with the cat. It then goes over and... Um, annoys the cat and the cat just gives it a little swat with its with its paw but it's not trying to hurt the bird there, there's a there's an uh, obvious uh, understanding of all three of these creatures I think that this is really something I knew that there was a lesson here I just couldn't figure it out and um, after a while the bird shows frustration it really does it shows frustration and he tries to uh, hurt the cat and not in a serious way but he certainly tries to get on the cat's nerves to express his frustration I believe so this is a very interesting video um, you take a look at it and tell me if that's what you think or maybe you think it's just all hogwash and it's just three animals but I think that this bird has a maternal uh, nature to it and uh, is trying to take care of the dog that's basically what it's, and it's sparring with the cat and does not respect the cat. <laughs> he pokes it and pokes it again. And I don't know if you've n ever known this or not, but, you know, sometimes it hurts when those when those birds uh, do that. It kind of gets your attention. So he can't get his attention there. Or he finally did get the cat's attention. But I don't know if you've seen him, but sometimes like in like April here in Florida, uh, March and April, 
these um, crows are very protective of their nests. And um, I'm sure they're way up high. But whenever anybody walks by, they attack them. So they'll either grab their hair or they'll give it a little peck. And, you know, they're embarrassing because, you know, you don't expect it. And here's this bird coming at you and grabbing your hair. And sometimes it's not pleasant. So, anyways, that's my thoughts on this. Uh, and um, I'm open to hear yours, okay? Take care, and we'll be right back for the news. Bye.